big old 540 big block. We just put some fast fuel injection on it, got a little higher and plug. We're gonna give her a shot here. This is Evan right here, and this is his Tahoe we just got done building. What year is this thing, Evan? 97. 97 Tahoe. Obviously, we just did a solid axle swap on it, and this is the first uh, OBS that we decided to try one of the newer model Super Duty axles in. And we convinced Evan it was a good idea, and he said, what the hell, go for it. It's a great idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. <laughs> so, as you look down here, this is a 05 and up Ford Super Duty front axle. And uh, Evan called us and said, uh, hey, Trevor, what do I you like think? I like to party. He, yeah, he says he likes to party. And <laughs> what, what kind of axles do you want to put in there, Evan? What are the strongest ones they make, Trevor? Yeah, so we <laughs> ended up putting RCVs in there, reed knuckles. This is two inch quarter wall, heavy duty tie rod, PSC hydro assist. Actually has inch and a quarter himes on the tie rod with one inch bolts, seven, eight times on the drag link. This is our crossover steering arm. So this is a kit we're kind of proofing out uh, for the OBS trucks. And you made that cross member. Built our, the, it's got the first three piece cross member in there. We'll kind of walk around and see that. So right now it's running 12 inch Fox coil overs, two and a half inch remote reservoir, uh, air bumps, our radius arm kit. And uh, it's basically ready to party. What do we have in here? Is it uh, 513 gears? Uh, yeah. 513 gears? No, 48, sorry. Or 48, 48 yeah. gears. We went with a uh, e locker in the front. And um, we'll walk around here and kind of show you some of the stuff. So, as you come here from the side, you can see our shock towers, frame plates, the track bar brackets tucked in right down there. Um, one of the cool things on the lower control or upper control arm, we put the air bump pad on there so it hits right there. You can see 1410 front CV drive line. Um, as you crawl underneath here, you can take a peek at the cross member. So the cross member is all quarter inch me uh, material. It comes in three pieces, so the center drops out to do transmission swaps, stuff like that. Um, it's all bolt in. We did have to modify it a little bit to fit the Atlas transfer case. It has the Atlas up in this behind a full manual valve body turbo 400. What gear ratio Atlas do you have? Uh, four to one. It's a 4.3 Atlas. And then if you take a look at the back, you can see it has the rear rear uh, Sterling 11 and a, or 10 and a half that came out of the same Super Duty truck. And it has two inch D release springs with a WFO shock reversal. And you can see the torque arm hiding there on the other side of the drive line. You run around to the back here and peek up. You can see the shackle reversal or the uh, shackle flip. So that's our WFO shackle flip. So with the two inch Devers and the shackle flip gaining about five inches of lift, it's about seven inches on this rig. You can see one of the three inch exhausts coming out. Peek in here, you can see where the torque arm mounts to the axle. So we have it half on the axle tube and half on the housing so that we can keep it from spinning the tube out of the housing. Then if you look up underneath there, you can kind of see the whole torque arm work your way up and down there. Two inch quarter wall material on the lower, uh, inch and a half quarter on the upper, big inch and a quarter high. We gusseted the factory cross member to hold the upper shackle for the torque arm. This thing's uh, sitting on, what tires are these, Evan? Uh, 42 inch TSL SX2s. On Battleborn bead locks? Battleborn 17 inch bead locks. Pretty much got to put swampers on a rig like this. Hey Evan, once you pop the hood, let's show them what's underneath the hood of this bad boy. Right? And you're going to have to talk about this thing because I don't know anything about it. Alright. There she is. This is a GM 502 block, has a SCAT 540 forged rotating assembly, long rod. 
uh, with Brodix, big Brody heads, full roller, everything. And then it has uh, fast fuel injection, right? Yeah, fast 2.0 fuel injection, uh, CVF full rotating belt assembly, everything. It uh, like party from who knows. <laughs> Basically, it's it's ready to peel out. Should be 650 horse conservatively. Should have about 800 foot pounds. So basically, Evan said uh, he wanted to put his winter performance reverse manual valve body shifter in and, to and for us to build a console. So we we designed the party console. Uh, we think this is pretty American. You build and, the, you build to fit the customer. You and, know? and obviously, this is for after you're done four wheeling. You know, when you're sitting in camp, right, Evan? Yep. Right, Evan. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, but it's all the ergonomics are designed. What you know, to work there? just perfectly. Brand specific. Um, you know, uh, the drain holes in the bottom, for instance, for when you spill, it drains out. In case it sweats. Yep. And uh, notice there's room around the beer can, so when you put your koozies, you know, it still fits. Um, and basically, if you do this, and you flip this forward, there's all your controls right there. So, ignition, fuel pump, fire it up ready to go so you know as they said on the original crusty demons of dirt hey seth there's no blood in the picture well <laughs> my deal is hey there's no mud in the picture evan let's do this all right